In this video, we're going to learn how to implement the insertion sort algorithm in Python. First, let's talk about how the insertion sort algorithm works. So insertion sort works by continually sliding over the next element, what we call the key, in the unsorted portion of the list to its correct position in the sorted portion of the list. So an example step in the execution of the algorithm might look like this. At this step, we would say that three, five, seven, and eight are the sorted portion of the list. And six, two, nine, and four would be the unsorted portion of the list. This would make six the next key. And our goal would be to find out where six belongs in this sorted portion of the list. Now, just looking at it, we can tell that six belongs between five and seven. So after this step of the algorithm's execution, we would want six to be between five and seven in that sorted portion of the list. And then three, five, six, seven, and eight would become the new sorted portion of the list. And two would become the next key in the next step of the algorithm's execution. So how do we actually shift over the key? So in order to move the key to the correct position, we're going to examine each element from right to left in the sorted portion of the list. And we're going to shift the element to the right if it is smaller than the key. So for example, going back to that example, here we have the sorted portion of the list and we're going to examine it from the right to the left. We're first going to look at eight and we're going to see if the key is smaller than eight. It is six is less than eight. So we're going to shift eight over by one and we're going to copy eight here. That's going to shift eight over by one. And then next we would keep looking at the elements in the sorted portion of the list going from right to left. So the next element to look at is going to be seven here. When we look at seven, again, our key six is less than seven. So because of this, now we would shift over seven and we would copy seven here. Then we would keep going. And next we would look at element five here. This time though, with our key being six, six is greater than five. So now we've found where six belongs and we would copy six here. And then we have three, five, six, seven, eight as our sorted portion of the list. And just a few more points about how the algorithm works. So if a key slides right to the beginning of the list, we're going to stop at that point and insert the key there. This whole process of sliding over the next key is going to happen until the entire list is sorted. And we're going to start off with the first element of the list as the sorted portion, because a list of one element is sorted by default. And so that portion of the list made up of one element will also be sorted by default. Let's actually implement this now in Python. So up here, we'll make an insertion sort function. We'll say def insertion underscore sort. The function is going to accept a single argument, the list itself. So we'll call the parameter list. We'll make an outer loop and the outer loop is going to go through each key in the list. So we're going to have four I, in range from one to the length of the list. So I is gonna be set to one in the first iteration of the loop, then two, then three, then so on, until the length of the list. We're gonna set key equal to the list at the index I. And so because I increases by one with each iteration of the loop, we're going to keep setting the key to that next element in the unsorted portion of the list. We start the range off at one, the second element in the list, instead of zero. Because we said that the first element in the list was going to be the initial sorted portion of the list. So that's why we effectively skip over that element in this outer loop and never look at it as a key in the unsorted portion of the list. Next, we'll create an inner loop to perform the actual shifting of this key over into its correct position in the sorted portion of the list. We'll create a variable called j, and j is gonna keep track of the index that we're looking at in that sorted portion of the list. So initially, j is going to be i minus one. That's because i minus one 
is going to give us that element in the rightmost index of the sorted portion of the list that's next to the key in the unsorted portion of the list. So in this algorithm, we want to examine the elements in the sorted portion of the list going from the right to the left. And J is set to I minus one, the rightmost element in that sorted portion. So in our loop here, we're gonna actually decrement J by one with each loop iteration to actually move J closer to zero, closer to the leftmost element in that sorted portion of the list. And so long as the key is less than the element that we're currently looking at, we haven't found the right spot for the key. And so long as this is true, we need to keep on moving over the current element one index to the right. The element that's one to the right of the current element that we're looking at, at index j, is going to be the index j plus one. And we'll assign to that index the value of the list at the index j. So this here is going to continually move over the element that we're currently looking at to the right by one until the key is no longer less than the list at the current element that we're looking at. At this point, we want to actually store the key at j plus one. So we're going to have the list at the index j plus one is equal to the key. Another possibility is that the key is never less than the element that we're currently looking at, and we would actually reach the beginning of the list. We need to actually account for this possibility and recognize it. So we're going to have another condition here. While j is greater than or equal to zero, and while the key is less than the element that we're currently looking at. So we're going to stop also if we reach the beginning of the list. Next, we can test out our function. So down here, we'll make a test list. We'll say test underscore list is equal to, and we'll have nine, five, eight, three, four, and seven. Then we'll call our insertion sort function with test list. Then we'll print out the result. So we'll print out test list after it's been sorted. So we can save our program and run it here. And our program does sort the list successfully. Now insertion sort is generally speaking, not the best algorithm for sorting lists. It's not the fastest algorithm. There's other faster algorithms like merge sort and quick sort. And I'll make videos about those sorting algorithms too. So this is how we can implement the insertion sort algorithm in Python. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.